Uh, it's a huge concern. We're at a critical juncture in supply, uh, preparing for the fall season. It's a big deal for Central Illinois farmers. What can you tell us about what goes on in those phosphate mines and how that relates to when and how much the price will be for what's going to come to Central Illinois? Whenever we see an event like this move through the area, obviously the first uh, priority is making sure people are safe. So, I mean, a lot of these companies uh, will proactively shut down operations to make sure people can take care of their families and homes uh, and get out of harm's way. So that's obviously the top priority. Uh, whenever that happens, you lose days of production. And that's what that's always confusing for people when we talk about fertilizer because you never get those days back and you can never replace the capacity that was lost during those days. Um, so as we think about, you know, the phosphate complex, uh, you know, even if this storm passes in, in two or three days, uh, the effects will take weeks to, to rectify. And like I said, uh, we're right at the, the beginning of fall and we're in critical need of the supply that's coming out of there. So this will delay phosphate barges coming up the river and supply for all those uh, uh, local uh, suppliers and applicators. Absolutely. About two-thirds of the domestic production of phosphates happens in Florida, and this storm will impact almost all of that uh, production. And what we see move into Illinois up the river system actually starts in Florida, comes across uh, the Gulf of Mexico in a, in a boat, and then transfers onto barges that end up in central Illinois. So it's a direct impact to our farmers. Have you seen prices starting to fluctuate in the phosphate markets at this point? They are, because we're at the beginning of a peak demand season, so we've seen them rise dramatically just over the course of the last couple of days as people have watched this news unfold. Right. Do you, what, have you talked to people in Florida about some of your suppliers? What have they, what have they said, and what kind of uh, intelligence are you getting from them? Uh, yeah, like I said, the, the companies in Florida are focused on safety uh, at this point in time, and uh, they don't really know what the impact will be until they get to the other side of the storm. So after that, it'll become prioritizing um, immediate demands and, and working through uh, contingency plans to, to meet needs. What have I not asked about that's important to this conversation? Um, I, I think it's important to highlight that uh, the farm gate economics are under extreme pressure today, right? So uh, events like this only add additional pressure to uh, central Illinois farmers that are already feeling uh, a lot of pinch from, from tight economics.